Hi everyone, I'm Megan Lutz. I'm the art librarian here in the Rutgers University Libraries. First and foremost, I hope that everyone is staying happy, healthy, and safe during these wild times. Today, I'm here to talk about visual literacy, your posters, and your presentations in general. One of the most important aspects in all situations is to know your audience. Ask yourself the following questions. Who will you be giving your presentation to? One, does your audience need to know? How will you draw your audience in? And what will get them excited and encourage them to ask questions, to want to know more, or to engage with your research? Also think about your story, and how will you tell it? How would you describe your research in a six-word poem? What would you do if you had to tell your story on a two and a quarter inch button? How would you tell your grandmother about your research project? Or what about someone else who speaks a language other than yours? Generally, when I start a project, I begin with an outline, which turns into a poster, often then turns into a presentation, and generally ends in a paper. As you move through this guide, you'll find information about visual literacy, how to find library resources, where to find library resources, tips on creating posters and presentations, thoughts on how to engage your audience, particularly in an online environment, and lastly, how to contact me with questions for advice, a critique, or other presentation-related questions. So, a few final tips. Whatever you create, make sure your research is easy to read, accessible, and ADA-friendly. Think about your skill sets. What do you have in your own toolkit? Be creative when solving problems and working on your presentations. Make sure you read through this entire research guide, send me any questions via email, and don't forget to think about who your audience is and how you will engage them, in particular in an online setting. Thanks everybody, let me know questions, and be well. Bye!